Hello, a couple weeks ago I found this tiny OLED display in one of my storage boxes. Usually I always use, uh, let me see, uh, this 128 by 64 pixels and I also used these guys in my video but I never used this little guy this is probably smallest display you can buy for Arduino or similar board resolution of uh, this OLED display is 64 by 32 pixels so this guy will not show lots of data but in reality it is it uh, will still show more than uh, than a 32 character LCD display so this tiny OLED is perfect with when you need something really small or when you don't need to show too much of data my plan was to fit whole project on this small breadboard this is probably smallest breadboard you can get it is much smaller than standard size best mic controller for the job was 80 tiny 85 8 pin microcontroller that don't have uh, that uh, don't even look like microcontroller 80 tiny 85 it don't need any external components like capacitors crystals or resistors I used Arduino Uno to program it um, it is very easy and uh, you can find many good tutorials online how to program 80tiny85 using Arduino Uno so I will not explain that 80tiny85 have uh, only few usable pins here we can see ground VCC and reset and rest of pins are uh, rest of pins can be used as input output pins this OLED display needs only two pins two pins are also used for these two push buttons and last pin is used for this buzzer so I used all remaining five input output output pins here is also I don't know can you see here is also a cool way to power your breadboard these batteries are these batteries can uh, be found everywhere three of them connected in series will give you 4.5 volts most of microcontrollers can work from 2.5 to 5.5 volts so what is what is usage for this project this is simple timer you can um, use when you cook for example or when you ex exercise or similar with uh, this button I can uh, set desired time so I can choose 2 minutes 5 minutes 10 minutes or 15 minutes and with uh, this button okay I will choose two with this button I can start counting down so it is quite simple when timer reach zero buzzer will beep very simple project but it's kind of cool on this small breadboard I always love small stuff I don't know why uh, 80 tiny is my first microcontroller that I bought uh, after I 
get my first Arduino. I was so amazed that uh, this tiny chip, who is the uh, same size, like uh, same size like um, I don't know five 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 timer, can be programmed using Arduino. For uh, yes, when uh, last minute is uh, going these numbers will be quite big <coughs> you will need couple of libraries for uh, this project I used the tiny 4k library and uh, also font library so check the description you will find the links there keep in mind that this is active buzzer so Passive buzzer will not work with this sketch, but you can always modify, mod modify code in my sketch. Feel free to use code and modify it. And now timer will reach zero and very uh, annoying and noisy project, but useful. I can stop beeping by pressing any button. I press it too long. Okay, feel free to use code. Uh, I hope you will learn something from this project. I hope that this kind of projects will motivate you or give you some cool ideas. Feel free to share them uh, with rest of us in comments lately i received a few negative comments about my projects people call them useless i know that in real life you will probably use a phone or kitchen timer but i'm i enjoy building this kind of stuff so tell me what you think in comments thank you and have a nice day